The City of Raleigh has allocated $12 million of its annual budget to handle stormwater. Town and city administrators throughout the entire Noose River Basin are having to deal with planning and development difficulties associated with stormwater. We have a variety of rules that are addressing stormwater in North Carolina. We have the Tar Pamlico rules, and they address phosphorus and nitrogen. We have the Noose rules, which address nitrogen. We also have Phase 1, and we have Phase 2. Phase 1 began in 1992. Phase 1 asked large cities, and that was a federal mandate, it happened all over the United States, to address their stormwater. And in Phase 1, the urban cities, there are six of them in North Carolina, worked in unison and in, with their residents to address the stormwater problems that they had. The idea is to capture the stormwater, slow it down, because the quantity of stormwater is also a problem. About three years ago, the federal government realized that phase one was doing a good job, but it wasn't doing a big enough job. So they implemented phase two of the National Pollution Discharge Elimination System, NPDES. That's why we call it phase two. It's a lot shorter. In phase two, you're looking at three different types of cities. The medium cities, because phase one already took care of the large cities. We're looking at medium cities, small cities that are growing very fast. Think about bedroom communities, perhaps maybe outside Charlotte or outside Wilmington, they're experiencing a lot of development, and we need to take care of them. And then there are the cities that I call, I don't care what size you are, but you're near nutrient-sensitive waters.